15 Interesting Facts About Denmark Are you looking for facts about Denmark? If you're looking for some new Scandinavian knowledge to throw around at parties, then you've come to the right place. Denmark has a long intertwined history. However, there are some things that make Denmark unique. Further down in the article, you can also see some general facts about Denmark, such as total population, highest mountain, biggest lake, government, country code, biggest cities, etc. Then you've come to the right place. Here's a list of 15 interesting Denmark facts that you probably didn't know about. To make this even more fun, I want to challenge you. How many of these facts did you already know beforehand? Leave a comment at the end and share your result. Here's a list of 15 interesting Denmark facts that you probably didn't know about. Number 1. The highest mountain in Denmark is only 170.87 meters tall. I don't know about any other country more suitable for biking than Denmark. It's hard to find places where you have to bike uphill and the tallest mountain is actually not very tall at all. It measures just around 170 meters above the sea. Number 2. The Danes have a term called Janteloven. We have a similar thing in Sweden with the same name but in Swedish. The meaning of this can be summarized that no one is better than the other. And today, it's an important part of the culture where everyone is accepted and is equal. However, the origin of Janteloven was to hold people down and make sure that they didn't think that they're better than anyone else. Number 3. Denmark has been inhabited since at least 12,500 BC. The earliest archaeological findings date back to 130,000 to 110,000 BC. Experts say that the country has been inhabited since at least 12,500 BC, and agricultural pieces of evidence have been found dating back to 3,900 BC. Number 4. The Danish flag is the oldest state flag still in use. The white cross on a red background that comprises the Danenbrog or Danish cloth is instantly recognizable to many. Originating in the 14th century, legend has it that the flag appeared during the Battle of Lindenes in 1219 and inspired the Danes to victory against Latvia. The flag was adopted at some point during the next 100 years. Whilst it's not the oldest flag ever to have existed, it holds the Guinness World Record for being the oldest continuously used national flag. It's a matter of contention as to what constitutes continuous use, as the saltire of Scotland also lays claim to a similar feat but through sketchy evidence. Guinness sides with Denmark and gives a date of 1625 for its adoption. Number 5. They have a model prince. Queen Margaret's eldest grandson, Prince Nikolai, has an unusual job for a royal. The 19-year-old prince is currently wowing catwalks around the world as a model. He made his bow walking for Burberry at London Fashion Week in 2018. He has since modeled for Dior designer Kim Jones, who himself has a Danish mother. He's not the first royal to walk a catwalk, though he's perhaps unique in having the full approval and support of his family, as Nikolai is currently seventh in line to the throne, down from third when he was born. He's unlikely to have put his career aside to rule over Denmark anytime soon. Number 6. It's a small country. Outside the cities, Scandinavia has a reputation as being a vast open space with mountains, fords, and lakes. Not so with Denmark. Our Danish friends live in a relatively small place, just a shade larger than the Netherlands and Switzerland. It ranks 130th in the world. In U.S. terms, that's somewhere between Maryland and West Virginia in size. Number 7. That is also a big country. However, the Kingdom of Denmark has islands, and lots of them. In total, Denmark has 443 islands, 70 of which are inhabited. One of those islands is Greenland, the largest non-continental island on the planet. Greenland is an autonomous territory of Denmark. The mother country retains control of foreign affairs and defense, but most other decisions have been devolved to Greenlandic government. 
The island shot to world fame last year when Donald Trump inquired about the possibility to buy the island from Denmark. So while Denmark itself is small, its total territory is much bigger. Adding it all up brings them rocketing up to 12th biggest in the world, nestled between DR Congo and Saudi Arabia. But before we continue with 15 interesting facts about Denmark, subscribe to our channel Curious Atmosphere so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Number 8. The Danes know how to play well. Most people know the joy that comes from opening a box of pieces and ending up with a finished model an hour or two later. Lego is probably Denmark's best-known export, especially among children. The Lego company was invented in 1932 in the small town of Billund by carpenter Ole Kirk Christensen. The name comes from Leggat, which means play well. The company's initial products were wooden toys. It wasn't until 1947 that they introduced the iconic interlocking plastic bricks that we all know and love. Since then, the company has grown to a multi-billion dollar business, including theme parks and clothing. Perhaps, most amazingly, the earliest bricks will still fit together with the ones made today. Number 9. They know a thing or two about amusements. Long before Walt Disney was even a blink in the eyes of the world, the Danes at amusement parks. In fact, the country is home to the world's two oldest operating amusement parks, Bakken and Tivoli. Bakken originated in 1583 when a natural spring was discovered. Thanks to the poor water quality in Copenhagen at the time, residents flocked. After this followed hawkers and entertainers. Nowadays, the park is home to a wide variety of vendors, entertainers and rides. Entrance to the park is free, though there is a charge for many of the rides. Tivoli Gardens, a relative newcomer that opened in 1843, is the better known of the two. From the start, Tivoli included a range of themed buildings as well as mechanical rides and a scenic railway. The park is constantly evolving and, as the founder said, will never, so to speak, be finished. Number 10. They're naturally cozy people. Enjoying the simple things in life is so important to the Danes that they have a special word for it. Huga. Pronounced Huga, the word defies direct translation. Instead, it's a feeling of contentment you get from enjoying simple pleasures. In a way, it's the opposite of stress. Instead of worrying about terrible weather, simply make a cup of cocoa and curl up with a good book. Ignore the stresses of work and spend quality time with friends and family. These are all examples of Huga and its concept I think we all should embrace. Number 11. Danes love their bicycles. There might be 9 million bicycles in Beijing, if Katie Melua is to be believed, but there's also a lot in Denmark. Danes love cycling and there are more bicycles in the country than people. Part of the reason for this is that the country is relatively flat. The highest point in the country is a mere hill of 170 meters, called Malihaj. Another reason is that the new cars are heavily taxed to discourage them. The investment in infrastructure has made cycling safe and easy for both recreation and transportation. Number 12. They enjoy a few gourmet delights. All countries have their contributions to the world of food and drink, and Denmark is no exception. Smorbrod comes from the words for butter and bread, and they're a type of open sandwich. Originally, they would have been simply rye bread with lard, but over the years, they've grown into an art form. Restaurants compete to provide patrons with the most lavish open sandwiches. Frikadeller are flat meatballs of veal or pork and are eaten throughout Denmark. Even though the original concept is German, the Danes simply love them. Number 13. And they let children drink a little. Unlike some countries, there are no laws to prevent children from consuming alcohol. There are laws in place to stop purchases that vary the age based on the strength. Beer can be bought at 16, but you'll have to be 18 to buy spirits. This doesn't mean that kids are on the streets getting drunk. Instead, the permissive culture leads to a more relaxed attitude to alcohol. In terms of what they drink, the Carlsberg Brewery has been providing Denmark and the world with beer for over 150 years. The lesser-known Tuborg Brewery 
now owned by Carlsberg, produces a seasonal ale every year. Akavit, meanwhile, is a spirit flavored with herbs, such as dill, that has been produced in Scandinavia for hundreds of years. Number 14. The Longest Pedestrian Street The longest pedestrian street in the world is in Denmark in the heart of Copenhagen, the shopping street Stroget, which became the world's first pedestrian zone. Its total length is 1.8 kilometers. It includes four streets connecting the Town Hall Square and the Opera Square. Number 15. The Royal Library The Royal Library in Copenhagen is the oldest in Scandinavia, 1673. It consists of 500,000 volumes and 20,000 manuscripts. Included inside are impressive collections of manuscripts in Sanskrit, Pali, and Sinhalese. Based on what we think is worthy, subscribe to our channel Curious Atmosphere so that you don't miss out on any future updates. If you have more about it, please feel free to share them with us. Share them in the comments below and wait for our interesting topics coming soon. If you think they deserve to be on this list, share your opinion in the comments below.